Welcome to the Royal College of Organists A to Z of the Organ. In this short film, we take the letter W, which stands for waving. Somewhat similar to, is he waving or is he drowning? Who's waving today is a question frequently asked by choir members of larger choral establishments as they gather for a rehearsal or service. What they mean is, who's conducting us today? The director of music, the assistant director of music, the organist, the organ scholar, or whoever. Whilst things have been rather different during the COVID-19 pandemic, in professional music making in cathedrals and churches these days, at least in the UK, it is rare that someone is not standing in front of the singers. Even the hymns may be conducted. But you only have to go back a few decades to find that, at least for weekday even songs, the choir was left to fend for itself with perhaps one adult singer on either side of the choir stalls making rather strange hand movements on the music desk to indicate the beat to greater or lesser effect. Carving, as this was colloquially called, not waving. Composers such as Stanford designed their music to be led by the organist, since at this time cathedrals usually only employed one musician who was expected both to train the choir and play for services. Unless he, and it always was he in those days, had a good article pupil who could be trusted to play for some parts of the service, the choir would be unconducted, taking its rhythmic cues from the organ part. But there is another situation, more common in some parts of the world than others, where, even with professional musical establishments, the organist is expected both to play and conduct. Here, unlike in most cathedrals where the organ console is remote, Indeed invisible to the choir, at least some of the choir can usually see the organist, take their cues from him or her and relay them to any singers who can't see. Playing and conducting like this is demanding a preparation time, even if the now common provision of general pistons, multiple levels of memory and a stepper reduces the pressure somewhat. Page turns must be photocopied, final chords made playable in one hand and feet, perhaps rearranging the notes and even leaving some out. Divisional pistons prepared across more than one manual but pressed by just one hand, whilst the other indicates the new tempo, and more ambitiously, even the mood. Not only must the music approaching the new section and its beginning be firmly committed to memory, so must the simultaneous piston pushing and waving be practised multiple times to ensure that, under pressure, nothing will go wrong. Once failsafe without the choir, the singers need to be told what will happen at a particular corner and then rehearsed in doing it. Let's take two examples from Stamford's Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis in B-flat. First, the Magnificat, which starts with just two beats on the organ before the choir joins. The singers may need help to establish the spirited tempo that the composer asked for and to breathe early enough. Here's a checklist of what needs to happen. Mark up your score clearly and well in advance. Then, when you are about to perform, set the registration, an obvious but easily forgotten task. Check you are feeling calm. Check that the choir is ready to sing. Prepare the first chord in the left hand and feet, omitting the B flat in the left hand. Establish eye contact with as many singers as possible, unless they are standing behind you, of course. Give the upbeats you may need to give rather more than someone standing in front of the choir would. Start playing, allowing the hand that waved to join in without splitting any notes. Remember to relax to avoid pushing the tempo. For our second example, let's look at the link between the end of the Nunc Dimittis with the start of the Gloria. Make sure the choir knows how long the fermata chord on the final syllable of Israel will be. Here, three beats. Bring the choir off with the left hand, having redistributed the notes of the chords in the last five bars to make them playable in the right hand. Change the registration with the right hand. Give the upbeat of the new tempo with the left hand Start the Gloria taking the first few manual chords in the right hand.
If all this sounds complicated, well, it is. But it does become easier the more you do it, provided you have planned and assiduously practiced everything. Do join us for the letter Y. Meanwhile, goodbye. I'm waving, not conducting, by the way. Thank you.